this movie is uh, to show you guys how to do color separations with Adobe Illustrator. So I've got a file here with some basic shapes with some basic colors. Kind of went over and showed you guys how to pull up the swatch libraries, how to use the Pantone solid coated uh, swatches here. So once again I'll just go really quickly browse through those, show you how I got those have the swatches floating palette which I tore off of one of these other palettes you can find that under the window drop down menu as well so when you come in here you can go to this option button right here select open color swatches and locate the color book section and Pantone solid coded is kind of the default swatch library that you can use now I've modified mine a little bit to show the fine field and displayed it in the small list view. So this one happened to be 485 red, which pulled up into that swatch right there. And we've got this yellow, 107. You know it's a spot color because the corner has a different little icon there in your swatches palette. Uh, triangle, which is the Pantone 281. So preferably you like the Pantone colors with the Pantone the number and the letter C. Stay away from the hexachrome, uh, some of those specialty inks, anything with a name in it, those typically are colors you don't want to use um, or use with discretion. So we've got our color separation set up. If you had used one of these other colors, say we would picked one of these greens right here, you can see this green is comprised of 85% cyan, 10% magenta, 100% yellow and 10% black. When we go to do our color, to print out our color separations, if you have these colors set in here, it's going to read that you need to print out a separation for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. These are what we call our process colors. So if you've got a process color, you're going to get more separations than you may be anticipating. Uh, so right here, we, we want just our spot colors so we're gonna get a separation for red, a separation for this blue 281 blue and a separation for our Pantone 187 so hence the term spot colors and that's typically what we're gonna utilize in the screen printing industry so we've got our, our artwork set up like I said be wary of extra colors um, it's a good idea if you know you're gonna use some kind of spot colors do some kind of screen printing design even logo design it's good to constrain yourself to these spot colors avoiding some of the transparencies the effects uh, drop shadows different things can separate out a little bit differently uh, those are usually specialty jobs not recommended for beginners so now that we've got our artwork ready we're we're We've checked to make sure we don't have any extra uh, colors, uh, extra type that may be holding color attributes. Like I said before, I can start a type point right there, come and select it or deselect it in that case. But that anchor point of type can contain color information. So we could come out with some blink separations, sometimes if that's a plate or some film you can actually get charged for that so you want to be wary of having those in this case you could get charged for cyan magenta yellow and black plate even though it's blank sometimes they can't put that back through the equipment if that were a plate being printed that would cause some problems there and you could be charged an extra fee uh, because of that typically they'll catch that beforehand but it's something you don't want to put in your artwork so we're gonna go ahead and delete that one make sure that it's not there a uh, good way to check to see if you have extra points, you can come up to the select menu and select all. And you notice Command A, uh, the Apple key and A right there will get you the same feature, selecting everything. So we've got that selected.